this here is the floor mat that you receive from Tesla when you get a brand new Tesla vehicle. In one word, terrible is what these mats are and they are cheap. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna give you guys some alternatives today. So stick around, we're gonna do a floor mat shootout for the Model Y. What is happening automotive fanatics? It's Peter, your automotive fanatic, coming at you with a great shootout video today. As a Tesla owner, we pay a lot of money for our cars. And one of the things that really disappoints me about Tesla is the quality of the floor mats that they provide to a brand new vehicle owner. Here I have the original Wise floor mat. And earlier I had told you guys, I think these things are just absolutely terrible. They're cheap, they're flimsy, and if you spill any type of fluid on this, you are done. So Tesla, your vehicles are great, but the quality of these mats that you give us are just absolutely terrible. Now Amazon has a plethora of different floor mats that you can purchase and it's very hard to decipher which one is going to be of good quality, durability and something that is going to be cost effective. Today what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to do a floor mat shootout where I'm going to review three different type of floor mats for you guys in hopes to provide you with some alternatives to the Tesla's original floor mat. The first one that we're going to go ahead and take a look at is the Bommelie floor mats that I purchased from Amazon. The second one that we'll go ahead and take a look at are going to be from 3D mats. And the last one we'll go ahead and compare is going to be ones from LastFit. So before we begin, I want to go ahead and welcome any new viewers to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Please support my channel and consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it as it helps me continue to do product reviews like this for you guys. With the three different mats that we'll take a look at today, what I'm going to take a look at is one, the fitment quality on the Tesla. Two, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the overall build quality and the material that is used for these floor mats. So without further ado, my friends, let's go ahead and dive into the shootout and take a look at the floor mats for the Tesla Y. The first floor mats we're going to go ahead and take a look at is going to be the Bommelie that are purchased from Amazon. Now upon first looking at these mats, what you're going to see and feel is the weight of these mats. Uh, they're definitely rubberized. They're made with a product that's called TPE and I forget exactly what that acronym stands for, but uh, it's weighted. It feels relatively thick with the lining here. Uh, you, can, you can definitely feel it's rubberized and there is some flex to these mats here. The durability looks like it's going to last for quite some time and uh, the shape, it, it should be pretty good, uh, should be a pretty good fit for the Y as I've had these in there before. The very backing, you've got little, looks like little spikes here to keep these in place once they're in the car. And uh, other things that I can tell you, there. the nice thing is there's no type of vendor logo on here. So if you are a, a big proponent of no logos, this might be a good choice here. But um, overall, this 
material here looks really good. It's very firm. The rubber definitely feels scratch resistant and obviously it's going to be weather resistant as well. Now that kit, it has a total of nine pieces, so it's very comprehensive. You have the front uh, setup, you have the, the long wide rear setup, and then the company also gives you a frunk and a uh, trunk liner. And then in addition to that, they also provide the liners that cover the rear seats. So when you fold the seats down, you've got some protection. So Pretty comprehensive setup right there. Here we're going to go ahead and do the fitment testing. This is going to be the very first one from Bombali. And with the seat all the way back, when you put these in, these mats, um, they fit very well. There is high coverage here. You've got your dead pedal that's covered and pretty much they slip right in. Uh, there is a little movement, but once you you put it back onto the stoppers here, it seems like um, it's going to fit okay. Uh, one thing I did notice is if you move this over, there is just a little area that it, it seems like it should be over here like this. Um, these ones here is kind of the same thing but it may just be the design of how it is from the manufacturer. But if we put the dead pedal, it does seem like it's a little short on this end. I would expect it to fit completely flush without it um, moving around. So that's gonna be the fitment of the very front ones here. Here is the Bommelie's rear set up and when I put these in it literally fit very well taking a look at the grooves here on the side it fits very flush with the back seating here and uh, looking underneath here it fits right where it needs to be it matches right up to all of the edges here and it does provide some coverage underneath for your passengers so the rears here, they fit really well, definitely non-slip. These little ridges that are up here, uh, you, you can step on it without damaging anything at all. So, good fit. Okay, here's the Bombly's rear uh, cargo cover. And the first thing I did want to point out, you guys might be able to see, but those are the three pieces that they include in the package, so it's very comprehensive. Uh, this coverage is very good. The, the match of the rear hatch looks good. And the nice thing with this, it's designed with this line here that is supposed to bend. So when you lift these up here, it goes with it. Now one thing I will say with these mats, right over here is the very edge that sits on these chairs here. And one of the things that I had noticed is because it's relatively strong, it pushes this mat back some so that it extends into the plastic here. Uh, I didn't really like that very much so what I did was I had to use Velcro on the very bottom just to keep these here so that they don't move. So again, it's got a nice bend to it. Um, the coverage is good. You've got some ridges up there to help with fluids. It's raised up just a little bit here and on the edges. So once again, you do have some coverage for fluids. Here is the passenger's floor mat. Fitment looks pretty good in the very front. Uh, the sides are kind of the same where if you raise this it looks like it's just a little short. Now one thing I did notice about these here is it's not a 100% um, true fitment as in the very back here this section here doesn't necessarily hit 
or hold against this here. So they do move around just a little bit, as you can see there. Uh, again, because of this edge here, it seems like it's a little short. So that is the passenger side here. The next mats we're going to go ahead and take a look at are designed by 3D. And these are the Kegu uh, floor mats. And upon first picking these up, you're going to notice they are very light in comparison to the Bombly that I had recently looked at. Um, they're very flexible. It's soft to a certain point. The top layer of these mats is going to be a rubberized setup and you can tell it it feels really good it's uh, definitely non-slip there's there is um, for your heel protection here uh, you've got the logo here right there and then on the very back this is designed as a multi-layer setup so you can literally feel the fabric down here and the way that the manufacturer designed these here is with the material it it's a little grabby if you want to say that and what it's designed to do is to catch um, the flooring of your Tesla to help these stay in place so that's going to be I think pretty good for these staying in place uh, but overall these feel very good flexible uh, they hold their shape well, non-slip, which is excellent. And each of them have a tag that these are made in Taiwan. So from what I know, with qualities in China and Taiwan, the Taiwan ones are going to have better quality control. So these are going to be, once again, the Kegu mats from 3D Mats. The next mats that we're going to put in will be the 3D Mats and let's go ahead and just kind of put it in okay so that fits really well the first thing that you're going to notice with these mats is again with the setup that they have uh, down here with the grabbing technology this really works this mat is not going to go anywhere at all that's something I do really like. Uh, let's see if I can get it to fit just a little better. And <clears throat> the dead pedal goes in really well. Um, one thing I will say about this fitment here, it's a little short on the, uh, the right side. There's a little gap there, but it's closed by the ridge, the ridge here. And it's just a little short back here doesn't look like it's truly formed to uh, the rails here but the fitment on top is really good it's a nice non-slip it feels really nice I love the heel guard right here so you don't damage anything so let's take a look at the other components of the 3d mats system here are the 3d mats rear setup and we're going to zoom out just a little so you guys can see. The fitment looks pretty good. The same thing with the anti-slip material. It feels really nice. And then once again, you've got that backing technology. This mat is not going anywhere at all. Uh, kind of like the very front, what you're going to see is it falls just a little short here of the rails. Same thing over here, just a little short. And one thing I wished with these mats, it would extend a little more because sometimes you've got passengers that will uh, put their feet up here. And if it's dirty, you're going to get this whole area filthy. So if this was extend a little more, it would be nice. But overall, fitment is really nice. It's just one piece. And I love the anti-slipping underneath. Here are the 3D rear setup and the first thing that you're going to notice is it just feels nice here. I love the design of the little staggered blocks. It looks like 
my uh, a fancy bathroom shower so that looks really nice fitment is pretty good again it's got some ridges it fits really well back here now you'll see that it kind of buckles up there I'm not going to dock 3d at all and I think it's just because of these liners that I have on the seat that's pushing them back but the nice thing here it's got that line that divides uh, the mat so that you can pull this up without it moving this so great feature to have right there 3d uh, extends over here really nicely provides coverage and once again the non-slip feels good I think some people may have a little concern about how low this um, this wall is here some people like it a little higher but I think it works very well which is how this is designed very nice here is going to be the passenger setup and the passenger setup looks very minimalistic it fits well on top uh, one thing that you will see and notice and let me see if I could adjust this just a little bit here now it's it's pretty much going nowhere once again the backing material here makes this just stick really well it feels really good um, the only thing that I'll dock 3d on is just the little coverage here it looks like it's short just a little a little bit and even though it is a little short you've got uh, the, the side protection that goes right up here uh, the other um, just the the other drawback is because this looks like it's just a shell it's not necessarily formed to the rear rails but that's really not a huge deal because you're not going to put your feet all the way back here it's typically going to go here but I do love how these mats are going nowhere at all that technology is fantastic fitment again not too bad you do have protection on both sides The last floor mats we're going to go ahead and take a look at are made by LastFit. And the initial impressions when you first take a look at these, out of all the mats, they have the most weight on them. These are made with a TPE material and the top coating uh, is non-slip of course. There's definitely a lot of weight to these and the material is very thick. On the very back, you're going to see a lot of little spikes that will keep the mat in place, but I think the weight itself is going to keep it in place as well. Uh, there's ridges here and grooves, kind of like all the other ones, but the nice thing with these, again, they're very flexible. They've got some weight. The material looks very solid with these. Here we have the very last setup. This is going to be the last fit. So let's go ahead and pop these in. And the first thing that you're gonna notice is the fitment looks really nice. Um, I will say last fit's design is very minimalistic. Uh, the very backing, it's a little small ridge, not a whole lot. Same thing on this side here. It's nice and high here. Uh, the non-slip feels really good. Fitment is, is very good. There's just a little movement here and I think that just may be uh, because these were kind of shaped coming out of the box and they haven't quite shaped to the car yet. But that is going to be uh, the last fit's front. Not too bad at all. Fitment is good. Here is the last fit's rear setup and kind of the same thing from the very front uh, it's designed minimalistically there isn't an extension that goes beyond this but it is ridged up here so that nothing would get um, floating up to the very top the very back looks good uh, these linings fit really flush against the rear of the seats and then kind of there's the fitment. We're going to briefly run over to these edges here. It meets the edge very well. 
good fitment. And overall, not too bad for these last fits for the rear. Here's your trunk fitment. The first thing you'll notice is there's there's definitely some weight to this one here, and it feels good. Uh, fitment is good. I did notice uh, earlier I had mentioned there isn't any type of ridge here so that it would bend. I stand correct. Last Fit has designed an area that will bend, so when you go up, you guys can't see it, but it will bend right here to allow access to your your um, the lower storage compartment there. Uh, one thing I do wish that Last Fit would have done was to make the ridges just a little higher. Uh, again, no one's going to spill a ton of stuff in the trunk, but it would be nice to have just a little higher ridge. But I think this is going to suffice because it's got ridges and valleys everywhere. The fitment to the very front is very good. And uh, again, it folds up really nicely so well done here last fit well done now finally we're going to the passenger side and the first thing that you're going to notice and i think once again because these were in a box they have kind of been pre-shaped to the box before if i had left these out a little longer it would have softened it up and made it a little better fit but You'll just notice that it's just a little short on this side here and it's preformed. So I think that's again going to be related to how it was in the box when they shipped it. But uh, these fit well. They don't move around too much at all. It goes back to the very edges and it will provide a decent level of uh, coverage for your car as well as protection. I do love how the rubberized feel is here. What did you guys think of the shootout? Of the three that I tested, what is your favorite? Please comment below. Let everybody know what you think is the best and why. Out of all the mats that we looked at, I am not going to pick a specific winner. All the mats essentially do the same thing. They provide one, a good fit in the Tesla. Two, they provide sufficient protection from the elements. And three, they're all weatherproof. So again, it provides very good protection for you owners. And the truth being is, each manufacturer creates a floor mat to suit kind of a general spectrum of users. One mat, one individual may like its specific properties while um, a per another person may not like that specific property and they might like something else. So each one has its own unique characteristics and I frankly, I like all of them. In a perfect world, I would take all three Put them together somehow to make the absolute perfect mat. In my honest opinion, I don't think there really is a perfect um, mat out there. There may be one that fits very well, but it's lacking in terms of coverage, where there may be one that has uh, excellent coverage, but it is just poorly made. So uh, there's really no cut and dry winner here. As usual, my automotive fanatic family thank you for checking out my first ever multi-vendor shootout it was fun to do this and i do hope that i provided enough detailed information for you tesla y owners to make an educated choice as to what is going to work out for you now i will have a link posted for 3d mats as well as the last fit mats for you to receive a discount should you want to go those routes. And they'll be posted below. This is going to be Peter, your automotive fanatic, signing off until the very next time, my friends. <laughs>